Ooh, this is going to be a mean one. Ooh, y'all going to like this one. The video for today is score, even if you're not in the mood. Mm. Score even if you're not in the mood to score. Go get a bucket. Go score. Now, what I realize is so many of us young men, we are never shown how to be a man. We're only shown how to be a lustful pig. We're only shown how to be a lustful boy. And boys can run from the age of five to 95. You can still be a 95-year-old boy. Don't get it twisted. Just because the gray hairs, the white beard, the the arched back, (laughs) the the broken cane, There are still some old-ass boys, right? In order to be a man, you must see a man. You must grow into a man. Now, doing the thing that is uncomfortable, how many of you were taught that? From your dad, from your uncle, grandfather, a teacher, a coach, a trainer, a mentor? How many of y'all were instructed on that properly? Very few. It's increasing, right? But very few were taught how to orchestrate that, how to embody that, how to walk in that every day. If I were to tell you that you look like a lawyer, but you are a salesperson at Walgreens, you are a salesperson at Walfart. You would take that as a compliment, now wouldn't you? Oh, really? Oh, thank you. (laughs) But if you were a lawyer and I were to walk up to you and say, yo, bro, you kind of remind me of somebody, like you, do you work, you work at Walfart? Do you work at Walgreens? Because you remind me of, like your energy is like somebody who works at Walgreens. You will feel offended. But when you are a man, when you are a young man and somebody tells you that you are still a little boy, a young boy, young minded, y'all don't bat an eye. Y'all don't think twice about that. A man has a completely different aura and essence than a boy. How many of us are properly taught that? There are steps in place. There are levels that we must beat. From going to a young boy, to a young man, to a young man, to a young adult, to a young adult, to a man. There's levels in place. Of course, they look different for all of us, but we are one and the same. We are living different physical experiences, but we're in the same life. (laughs) That's why we can relate so much, all of us on a conscious level, to all of this shit. It's all a conscious, intentional perception. Perception over perspective. Well, it's actually perception or perspective over perception. Because what you percept is from your programming. My perspective is on a wide lens, excluding my ego, excluding my willpower, my determination, my enviousness, my jealousy, my me wanting to be in your position, envy, me being greedy, me thinking that I need more gluttony, I need more than what I have right now, ungratefulness. You see, that's attached to your ego. So score even when you're not in the mood, even when you don't feel like it, even when you went to bed at 6 a.m. the night before. What did you say? You're going to wake up at 9 a.m. every day and get your day started. You're going to read early. And now I'm realizing the truth, not the full truth. It is a truth, not the truth. But there's a lot of truth to the early bird gets the worm, especially when it comes to rich, wealthy, and successful-minded individuals, (laughs) people who have a millionaire mindset, 
Why is this important? So I can get the ball rolling quicker. So I can score easier. You can put me in any category with any pedigree of player. I can score the ball. I'm going to score. I know my spots. I know how most defenders defend. And even if I come across somebody who is a high-level defender, well, you're going to have to show me. You have to show me. Because I'm going to get stops. You're going to get stops. Other games, I would normally score 20, 25 plus. This game, when you guard me, hey, 12, 12 points, 12, 15 points. And I worked hard for them all. Went to the free throw line four times. <laughs> I worked for them. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm used to scoring even when I don't feel like it, even when I'm not in the mood to wake up, even when I had to do a call and a conference and, and my social battery was, was running very low two nights in a row. I went to bed at 3 a.m., two nights in a row, way past my bedtime. Guess what? JB, get your ass up. Wake up at 9 a.m. Yo, wake up. Wake up before life runs you over. Wake up. Get your day started. Get the ball rolling. You set the tone for your day. Don't let social media, don't let nobody else, don't let, don't let your parents, don't let your girlfriend, don't let your job, most importantly. And I know it's easier said than done. But do you think you can't do it? <laughs> do you think you can't do it? Life is not easy. It's easier said than done. Well, how about we switch that? Can it be easy said and can it be easy done? Yes. Yes. You see, y'all have to realize that your comfort zone is your score zone. And I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. Your comfort zone equals your score zone. How comfortable you are with the ball in your hands. You being a leader, you being a man. That comes with the responsibilities, priorities, and everything that entails being a man. Your comfort zone equals your score zone. How well can you score the ball night in, night out? Y'all ever went to a carnival or seen pictures of a big-ass basketball rim? How could you miss a little kid who's six can make this into a big-ass Remember when we was in school and we used to do this? Hey, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot the ball in my hand. Shoot it, shoot it. How could you miss? Right? One would think with an open mind. How could you miss? So when you open up your comfort zone, what you, what you deemed as uncomfortable, not waking up early, not stretching, not meditating, and staying off your phone two hours before you get your, so if you wake up at 9, you staying off your phone until 11. At 11, 11, 15, 11, 30, you can check your phone. That's uncomfortable to you because you're not used to it. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, it's going to be easy because you're not used to it. It's a new task for you. It's a foreign land. It's a strange, it's a strange sighting. It's like you looking at King Kong. God damn, I didn't know he was going to be this big or this small shit. In the books, they say that you 30 feet tall. You, my height. Right? Your comfort zone, the more, the more you stretch that out, the more you get the get out my way. I'm not gonna let my feelings and emotions stop me from having a phenomenal day. I'm not going to allow my energy and what I've been through cause me to be a victim, cause me to continue to play the blame game and justify why I should be and you should be because we from the same hood, because we from the same neighborhood, we in the same family. I'm not gonna justify that. Hell no, I'm not playing them type of foolish games. That's ignorant shit. Your comfort zone is your score zone. The more you stress that shit out, is the easier you can score. The easier you can attain wealth. The easier money flows to you. If money, if money, just think about if money had a big hoop. Like we did with our imagination. How much money could you waffle up 
in your arms, in your hands. Come on now. Imagination is everything. Imagination, creativity, and don't stop. Your ego wants you to stop. Your ego wants you to stop. But your soul never stops.